So ladies and gentlemen, and at this point, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce our next star. His name is Mike Caveman. Thank you very much. It is really a pleasure to be here at the Jubilee, I must say. And uh, to make it even more special, I had no idea that ever I would work on the same show with Al Flasso. And that makes it very special. Uh, to begin with, I knew there'd be a lot of magicians here tonight, of course. So I wanted to start out with a very special trick. And I found one such as you might find in Flasso's magic for two reasons. First, it's a good trick. Second of all, it's all crapped up and dinged on this side. There's a hole on it. But uh, I figured I should have a new trick for the magicians in the group. This is it. I saw this on the shelf. I said, that looks like a good trick. I'd like to buy one. And uh, I told the fellow behind the counter that I was going to do some traveling. I need a little carrying case to carry this around in. He said, well, the case is included. I said, all right, where is it? He said, it's inside the die. You keep the case inside here? And he says, yeah, we keep it in there to protect it. <laughs> I see. Well, he opened up the die, reached inside, and pulled out a little blue box. Now, even I could see that the little blue box would never hold the large red die. But I didn't say anything, and he didn't say anything. He just took the little carrying case, opened it up, then took the die, dropped it inside, and put on the lid. <laughs> so, I started for home. I'm walking down the sidewalk, and I'm thinking... That's impossible. So I turned right around and I went back to the magic shop. And it was gone. <laughs> in its place was a Chinese laundry. But then I remembered he told me the instructions to the trick were inside the box. What he didn't tell me is that they were written in Chinese. That's why I can't do this trick. I am sorry. 